I ordered a few things, so let's unbox them. Uh, it should be a phone screen, uh, solar light, battery, whatever. And uh, yeah, some hot glue sticks. So let's see. This should be the screen. This is the biggest package. It comes like this. Oh boy, they didn't use a proper box. I don't know why. It's just cardboard, double cardboard. So let's see. Cut away this. And uh, yeah, I don't know who packaged this, but it's interesting. So yeah, this is how I received it last time. I mean, not in this shitty... Uh, yeah, this is garbage. A piece of ba plastic bag from the garbage. But the rest... This is how I received it last time. Nice box and bubble wrap. Wait. What? Oh yeah, it's fine. This is how it should look. And yeah, this appears to be new. It has the foil on it, that's what got all the scratches, the glass should be fine. And yeah, this is for Redmi 9C NFC. So yeah, visually it's okay, the rest we'll see. Yeah, mostly fine okay let's put it back here i work on it later today maybe i'll make a video but uh, it's harder to make videos with this kind of stuff because i have to pay attention and uh, yeah just uh, constantly looking at the camera whether it's in focus or not uh, i don't need that so this was that Let's see another box. Yeah, let's try to open this properly and reuse the bag. It's a recycled bag, but... Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. This should be cool. So has LED lights, motion detector and light detector also I think or it does it through the solar panel and the solar panel so PIR sensor CDS night sensor but that's useless that's stupid when you have no you just have to measure the voltage from the solar panel when it doesn't have any voltage then it's dark big deal that's a solar panel, <laughs> oh, half a watt, 17% efficiency, a s relatively small battery inside, LED. Uh, I don't understand this, 6 pieces or 8 or 10 or 12, what? Night sensor, 10 locks. Yeah, motion angle distance, delay time 10 seconds, that's okay. Swe oh, that's the switch probably. Night mode off, highlight. So this is the switch. This should be the switch, not the light sensor. Yeah, okay, let's uh, open it. Oh boy. Kind of big. I didn't expect that it fills the whole box. This was two boxes. I even got a screw. 
to mount it. <laughs> and instruction manual. Right. <laughs> yeah. Charging under sun <laughs> in daytime around seven hours. The back button is the switch. Press it and press so. Uh, the screw on the wall. Auto bright light at night when people come close. At least 15 seconds. So you're 15 seconds under the thing and then it lights up. People move away last 15 seconds. Oh, okay. I get it. Uh, I kind of like this. Yeah, but the LEDs are crap. They are uh, white, cool white. Yeah, that's not very friendly to the eye, but okay. And this... <laughs> I mean, it just has the bare LEDs covered in a plastic, by a plastic foil, sheet, whatever. It has some dirt under it red dot or something here are the power uh, leads i mean it's um, basically nicely done one solar panel is broken one solar cell that may not be a huge problem but uh, yeah maybe no yeah maybe no power is coming out of this if it's broken but uh, if i can rewire it losing only like 10 percent of it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so yeah like nine percent of the power that's no problem if you lose nine percent let's uh let's even go inside try to look i don't have a screwdriver just something like this This is interesting. I I doubt there's a battery inside. That's my main concern. It's too too light. How do you open this? Oh, here. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is just too funny. They call this a circuit board. That's <laughs> That's really funny. Really funny. So since I opened it up, let's look at the voltmeter. Let's see if anything has power. Maybe they, the battery is dead and everything's dead. No, this is around 4 volts. This is okay. It doesn't have any markings, so this is some junk battery. And it's very light, extremely light. So, yeah, this probably has a small cell inside, or I don't know, but it's very, very, very light compared to normal 18650. I mean, I mean, yeah, slightly, slightly less weight, slightly, eh, no problem, I think. And let's see the solar, solar, solar thing here yeah that's dead no wait this is the LEDs which one is the solar this is the solar and uh, I have to turn it around hey it has voltage what it works even with the broken cell. Okay, then it's no problem. No problem in the sense that if it has a charge controller, then it's okay. If it doesn't, then... Wow! It's like really bright. This is awesome. It works. If you go close, it's uh, maximum brightness, and if you're not, then it flickers a bit and then shuts off, probably. 
Yeah. Fifteen seconds. It said fifteen seconds. Yeah, kind of okay. I mean, I'm really surprised. This seems fine for two bucks. Imagine that. For two bucks. Oh, it uh, has the light sensor, so you have to cover this up and then it lights up. Cover up the solar panel. Yeah, that's how it works. That's the best way. So it doesn't have a light sensor, it's just the solar panel. Yeah, that makes the most sense. So I give this, this, this is really nice. This, this is, this is worth two bucks. <laughs> worth two bucks. Hashtag worth two bucks. So do I have another? Yeah, I have something else to unbox, but this is not that interesting. It's just the hot glue things. How do I cut this? Eh, I just cut, cut off one end. Like that. Oh boy. They didn't bother putting them in a bag. What the? Why? <laughs> That's just stupid. At least give me a garbage bag or something. So there should be two, four, six, eight, ten pieces of hot glue sticks. Okay, this is okay. This was a buck fifty, and it will last me for quite a few projects. This is nice. I'll have to verify it. I mean, try it out. And let's hope the melting points and stuff are okay. So yeah, that's about it. Maybe I'll make a video about the phone repair, replacing the screen. And uh, yeah.